Hello guys, today we will learn how to draw NAND gate using this inverter what we have drawn in our last class so as you can see here there is my input and output A and B and my N MOS is there my P MOS is there VDD is there everything is already drawn so using this inverter how can we draw a NAND gate layout this is our experiment so as you know what are what is the symmetric diagram of NAND gate as you can see here there is two PMOS and two NMOS here we have only one PMOS and one NMOS in inverter so what we have to draw we have to draw one extra PMOS and one extra NMOS for AND gate, NAND gate. Okay, so we can redraw this diagram like this. You can see like this. So this diagram and that diagram both are same. Just the orientation is different. See, this is NAND gate PMOS and this below one is and MOS here also below one is and MOS and just the orientation of PMOS we have rotated and this is the layout A stick diagram we can say when we draw the layout in our normal copy and pen form we can call it as a stick diagram so this is our final structure what we are going to draw today as you can see the how we will change this one we will modify this CMOS and uh, for modifying this what we will do we will extend this anvil first because we have to draw two PMOS here so we will extend this anvil and we will click on that anvil what we have drawn before by clicking by clicking middle click we can select the previous one means mouse rotator click okay so I have created anvil then P diffusion then I will extend this output metal because we need more output we need to insert one more gate in between and we will delete this B level B okay because we don't level B in our output A is ok A is one of our input but our output will be F ok so I will extend this metal this VDD it is already there but for new PMOS we have to give VDD so we will extend this metal contact and we will give this contact also as it as it has given already okay okay and we will connect this from here to here so it will become second PMOS okay little bit more extra width we need in and well extra P diffusion and extra metal okay you have to see the DRC also okay don't forget it DRC is much needed now what we will do we will connect P diffusion with metal for VDD okay okay so another extension I think there should be sufficient space so okay we will extend it so this is the demo purpose in fabrication we don't do like this we have to make very compact structure so that no wastage of area will be there or our fa fabrication cost will increase okay so like that also like P 
PMOS we will extend NMOS this N diffusion okay same as before now we will make polysilicon contact where this is mainly what is this polysilicon it will act as gate so this will become the second gate of PMOS and NMOS so we have created two PMOS and two NMOS and both are connected and we will select this one and we will move to the left how we will select just select the area and click A press A and then move using 2, 4, 6, 8 key so it will move using key 4 we will move left key 6 we will move right key 8 we will move upward key 2 we will move downward this is how we will move and uh, now I am extending the metal so it's good to give as much of contacts for ground and for VDD also it is good for your circuit okay now what we have to do we have to make this VDD contact with our PMOS okay so yeah now done then we have to place one metal contact there P diffusion P contact okay one minute I'll uh, do one thing yeah like this I have to place a square block contact yeah 4 is to 4 same will be there okay as you can see I move my cursor to previous contact and I pressed middle click of my mouse same okay now what are what is our what will be our next step I will select this polysilicon and I will move it little bit to give the input B okay I moved it now I will give input B same as A like we have done it before metal okay see there are some DRC here what we will do that DRC so we will move this one little bit right and then we will move this one little bit right okay that DRC is for a space margin and we will delete this little bit metal side okay and we will move this one little bit upward so we will select this one and then we will use key 8 to move it ok so you can see using key 8 I have moved it and there is no DRC and how to deselect it by pressing comma by pressing comma I have deselected it and now I have given contact polysilicon contact as it is given in A ok so my, uh, now I have created input A input B and uh, we need to give one more connection of output to our NMOS using metal only so now give ok so using this metal only I have given this contact now again this contact same as before ok so done I have given VDD ground then A input is there and uh, B input is also there we have given the connections as you can see in our circuit diagram all these connections of NMOS this is the second input B this is the output F you can compare this diagram with this layout with your diagram as it is drawn
so this is the overall view of my NAND gate okay so I will level this as B using command level B okay done as you can see B appeared here now we have to label this as F for output we will delete this one and we will label it here F ok all done all labeling done my DRC is 0 diagram completed now what I will do I will extract it no before extraction we have to save it so I will save it using command or you can save it using file so I have saved it now I will extract it you know all these commands so there is one warning here I don't know what is the warning but uh, right now this is just for demo purpose so we can ignore the warning I think there is problem with some width or something it's not a or problem it is just a warning so you can ignore it okay so extract to save I have given wrong command it is ext to save now extraction finished now I will use irsim command my file name is invator sorry by mistake I have given in last class only step size I have to mention step size will be 50 and I have to give VDD and ground high VDD low ground okay now we have to wire all the inputs and output so W A B F wiring all input and output now what we will do we will display it means right now my input is XX and output is F means no input no output we can see the input using L A means low given to A low given to B means 0 to A 0 to B so what is my output you can see 1 in case of NAND gate you know 0 0 and output is 1 so right now I am giving low to A and H to B means high to B then what is my output it is 1 you can so this is how we have created NAND gate we have drawn the layout of NAND gate ok so this is the end of our experiment today's experiment ok you can check and you have to save it at last submit the report okay. and uh, I can give my name here ok you people also have to give your name here using level so I will give full name then it will show some error you can see so don't level like this it will show some error ok so I will outline font ok yeah. so I will give short form level C okay. you can see 
label the layout with my name this is how you have to give your name you have to label it in your report okay that's all for today and you have to submit your report then in your homework you have to draw nor gate 